we're here at the premiere opening exhibition of the Serona Fine Art Gallery located in the village at Gulfstream Park. Here with director of the gallery, Tim Smith, to give us a little insight on Serona Fine Art Gallery. Tim, if you could just tell us how the Serona Fine Art Gallery came about. I uh, was in New York City. I've been in the gallery business uh, since 1990, I guess right out of college. And uh, Frank uh, Stronick was one of my clients, bought a number of things from me and called me up literally and said, I want a gallery in Florida. And uh, if I fly you down, will you talk to me? And I said, of course I will. <laughs> my idea for the gallery was something that was more with the representational art. Um, not necessarily like photographic, but all kinds of range. You can see there's a big range of artists here. Um, there's so much contemporary art and experimental art in the Miami area. I thought we might be kind of an alternative to that. And uh, just for being open this little bit we have, <laughs> I've gotten great comments on it. So I think it's going to be really exciting. I think there's a lot of uh, possibilities here. And tell me just a little bit about the tonight, your opening, your premiere exhibition. Has, how has that been going so far? It's been, it's been pretty great. It's been pretty great. Now, I'm, I'm used to a December reception in New York City. It usually means freezing rain and snow and you can't get a taxi, you know. But this is, uh, this is, pretty, this is pretty great. You know, so. I've been in Florida for two months, but I don't miss the winters. So. I was going to ask you how the transition was and what the difference is between some of the art in New York that you've been experiencing as opposed to here in Florida. Well, since I brought all the artists I like, it's been great. <laughs> um, the uh, you know I, I was actually familiar with the, with the uh, Miami scene. As I, as I say, it's it's really geared toward, towards contemporary work, um, which I appreciate and I like actually. But my heart is in this type of art because all these artists start with an idea. They go from that idea to having the skills to to bring it to completion. I'm here with artist Brian Stevens. Brian, I'd love to get into your head as an artist. What inspires you? What motivates you? What makes you create this unbelievable artwork? Uh, life life um, inspires me. The, the energy around me that is just here, you know, every day, just moving around. Love and um, my children, actually, they are a huge inspiration, and then my lovers, you know, just with this excitement of life, moving through the day every day. That's... Let me just ask you um, your background, just how did you get started in artwork? What drew you to it? Um, I started um, I started as a child really young, but then I lost it for a while until I went to college. And when I went to college, then that's when I really became, like, uh, really, really focused on um, art. I was um, studying at a, a fairly traditional school, and then I w did my master's in um, another, like, contemporary school, and I uh, um, just was able to keep pushing, like... What type of artist, what type of paintings do you do? What, what's your forte? Um, for me, it's like, for me, I like to say it's romantic cosmic pop, you know, it's like I'm taking parts of my life and I'm pushing it into, which I feel like, um, into the future, you know, like what's, uh, it's very pastoral, but like I want it to have more like exciting energy. And so for me, like the energy of life is really what I kind of, I really draw from, you know, like my existence of this being in this world right now, my steps through life, so. What do you think of the opening tonight? Um, it's nice. I'm happy to be here, you know, it's good. It was in Arbaza and everything, so, so much art, you know, it's very nice. Here with artist Wesley Wofford. First, let's just talk about uh, your background and how you got into art. Um, I grew up in a small town in Georgia um, and really just discovered early on that I had this need to push clay around like, like first grade. Um, my mother really nurtured that and um, recognized that and, and put me in art lessons really early, like second grade. Um, and yeah, it just kind of flourished from there. What inspires you to do some of your art pieces? Life, you know, just being alive in this, like I'm a contemporary sculptor and I put forth like what I see, observations, things that strike me as, as interesting or, or um, are tragic, um, 
you know, but really, I mean, my work is about capturing emotion, capturing like the vibration of life. Um, and trying to put that into sculptural form. And is it just sculptures that you focus on or do you do other types of art as well? Um, all sculpture, yeah. No, no. So I, I've noticed a lot of your artwork in, in this gallery. You've got a beautiful, huge Great Dane. You've got a torso, many different things. So are you a dog fan? Do you have a Great Dane? What, you know? I'm a cat guy. Um, I like cats, um, but all my clients seem to like dogs. Dogs are like the new kids in America. So how long does something like that take you? Um, in general, things tend to be in the studio for six months, and that's the sculpture time. And then once mold and bronze is about a 15-week process. Um, so most of my commissions are like three quarters of a year. Um, you know, I mean, that can be pushed a little if uh, some public works and installations are very deadline oriented. Um, I'm doing a piece for like the Nebraska State Capitol right now, and that was a very tight, regimented schedule, so I didn't get my full six months. But um, in six months, it's not, I'm not working on it six months. It's, it, it kind of lives, I mean, my studio is a big space, and I have lots of works going on all the time, and so I kind of bounce around and they all kind of live together and talk across the room so it's um, right. it's kind of how it works. But. What are your thoughts on the gallery and seeing your artwork in here? And I think it's incredible. I think it's an incredible space. I mean visually it feels really fantastic when you walk in the doors. I love the layout. I mean it's huge um, and yeah it's, it's really exciting. I'd love to ask you, you were, you received an Academy Award and an Emmy Award for your artwork. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, so yeah, when I when I moved to Los Angeles, I mean I'm a figurative sculptor, so I sculpt people, I sculpt animals. Um, I was a big fan of Dwayne Hansen who did these photorealistic figures in the 70s. The, the Emmy was for an HBO, the Peter Sellers movie, HBO, Jeffrey Rush was Peter Sellers and so he had to age from 22 and overweight to uh, 72 and old and technique and that so they gave me an academy award for it. So I'm here with Scott Redden, another artist of Serona Fine Art Gallery, here to tell us a little bit about his artwork, a little bit about his background, how he came into the art world. So Scott, <laughs> if you don't mind, um, how'd you get started? What got you interested in art? Uh, that, well, well, that's such an open-ended uh, question. I mean, I grew up in an artistic family uh, in New Jersey. I grew up in New Jersey, and we would. Uh, my mother was very much uh, interested in bringing us into the city uh, often. So we'd go to MoMA and uh, go to the Guggenheim and go to the, the Met and all these places. And I would um, always respond to looking at the paintings. And it's amazing that now here I am in Serona Gallery with with my work. But um, but I guess on some level, I come from an artistic family, and it's always been a part of my my uh, nature to, to gravitate towards working with uh, with painting and, and that kind of thing. So. so what drew you specifically to oil? Is that primarily what you always, paint? Yeah, it's always been oil. Uh, I've never taken an acrylic. I like the, the oil runs a little slower. Also, it's a nice uh, way to build up. Um, I work in a very different way. I, I don't, uh, a lot of painters work in a uh, all over kind of fashion. And I really separate areas and work kind of um, in, in sections and so that I, I, I bring um, as much intensity and, and thought to every little bit of the painting so even the stripe is very thought out and meticulously painted um, working on the seagull you know working in this little section here this section here everything takes its uh, time and everything is very integral to the the whole of the uh, entire uh, canvas but it's, so it's in a sense the canvas is made up of, of all these little parts and they come together like a puzzle in a sense and create the, the final painting. And how long will you typically spend on a piece? Uh, it, it, it varies. Um, I always say about a month for a painting, maybe upward of two months. Um, it's, it's pretty intensive. It, uh, as I say, I work in areas and, I tr uh, and some areas might take longer than others. For instance, this blue sky might only take a couple days, but then working uh, on the other uh, elements might take more time, but I'd say roughly upward of a month per, per panel. 
And uh, on some of the even bigger pieces, the, the large houses where every board of the house is painted out. Um, and the, the dark bit is actually an undercoat coming through. That, that could really take up to two months to work on a, on a panel, the, the way I work anyway, and then going back over and giving the character and texture to the paint as well. Um, so it, it takes time, but hopefully it's all worth it. And um, because my sketches, funnily enough, are very small and quickly rendered, and then from just a tiny sketch, the, the painting also it just takes a lot more time. So. And how many pieces do you have in this gallery? Uh, I believe we have nine paintings here. Um, it's a range of work from earlier pieces. I forget the date of this one exactly, but I think it's from the, the mid-2000s. Uh, and then I have a, probably the most recent painting is called Hidden Mountain, which is across the room there, uh, which is a, a, a very recent. So, um, so there's a range of work here from earlier to, uh, to more recent um, uh, pieces. So. What inspires you? Uh, hi. Inspiration is a tricky word. Um, I don't even know if I believe in inspiration. I, I, for me, it's all, all about the work. And as I uh, am in the process of, of the painting, um, as I'm working on it, then I think the inspiration comes out of that process. But to just be truly inspired by an image, I, mean, I work with images, but uh, I don't know if that's where the inspiration comes from uh, initially. I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's a tricky thing. It's, it's kind of funny. Located in the village of Gulfstream Park, Serona Fine Art is filled with creativity, culture, and thought-provoking pieces that will leave you feeling inspired.